I'm literally entering my focus girl era. Besties, welcome to my channel. This is an article for those who do not know me. And in today's video, we are having a sit down video regarding the new year, the new you. What you see that say new year, new me? Yeah, we're here for that. So, in this video, sorry guys, I'm gonna look down because I wrote everything down because I have a tendency of just losing the plot when I'm speaking and to get things done quickly and without me wasting time. I'm gonna have to look down on my notes. So it's going to be an intentional year. 2023 is an intentional year. Vision board year. Year of years. I'm literally entering my focus girl era. Her. <laughs> so in today's video, this here is from um, uh, Ali Pearl. This is a 4x4. Four, four four. Guys, I'm used to 13x4 so much. This is a 4x4, four 4, 12 inch bob. As you guys can see. I'm in love with this hair. It's giving summer lunch vibes. Literally entering my classic girl era, my soft girl era. Let's someone get straight into the video. I've got my mic with me, so we're gonna talk about serious stuff. Guys, I'm trying this mic. And so good so some of the days. Some of the days it were it's working, some of the days it's not working. So I'm gonna keep on turning to check if it's on. Cause hey guys, my kids but I charged it all night to check because when I was on vacation it, it was off and we don't have the charger a lot it's the c type and i yeah so 2023 and intentional year we're literally entering our focus hands era per so i'm gonna read read here because i'm gonna lose my plot and just oh well. january is the month of intentional resets keep your space clean Guys, I literally screen cleaned my room today and I'm proud of myself. There used to be a table here, I took it out. I'll bring it back if I am coming back to school. So it depends. If I'm going back to school, I'm going to put it back. If I'm not staying outside or going back in the garage. January is the month of intentional reset. Like keeping your space clean. Keeping everything clean. Keep your space clean. Start your detox. Guys, I'm going to start detoxing like social media detox like starting everything on a clean slate even though i'm six days early six days late i meant to say what's this i'm like a january club six days late i'm gonna start my social media detox detoxing from a lot of things like oh well it's that time where i keep everything clean to that space to reset and reflect did you hear that to reset and reflect on the previous year to to know what went wrong where it went wrong and stuff guys can i please come back quickly oh. Oh. one two three four five this year is literally living on purpose, be it your friendships, your academics. I'm speaking, most of my people here are students. So be it friendships, academics, relationships, spirituality, and everything. And that's where we're going to get head into the vision board. We live everything, we're living on purpose. Goal setting. Guys, we must goal set. I'm going to mention it again in my vision, in the vision board part. We must go see oh guys you are one two three four five twenty twenty three an intentional year literally entering my focus girl era Her. so this year I'm gonna read things down from here because I literally sometimes lose the plot sometimes because I'm talkative so I don't wanna waste your time. Me and myself I've got a very short attention span so imagine and I'm gonna be like blah 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 it's like oh boring so I exit the video so I'm gonna read everything right not everything but I've got points down I've literally written points down 
I literally wrote this at 2 a.m. 3, 4 a.m. this morning. Because I was like, I need to make a video. But yeah. January is a month of intentional reset. Living on purpose. Keeping your space clean. Detoxing. And... One, two, three. Reset and reflect. Trying a new workout. Guys, I signed up for gym. Let's pray that I go to gym. Because I don't know. Like, I have that thing. I don't like leaving the house. So, yeah. Well, reset and reflect. That part means a lot. Because last year, a lot, a lot of shit happened. So, you must generate the time to sit down. on a hand was again. I did this. And I want to change my ways by doing how. Oh, well, this is where also journaling comes in. So, journaling and rest. When I can reflect in journaling, you're going to use it to reflect on the experiences, on your thoughts, on everything. Like, also quick long haul, like maybe the end of the year or the following year. Oh, Pesho, oh, what's have changed a lot? Things have been changing, what's it? Oh, Pesho, Pesho, you're going to the I was at this place and now look at me, look at me, the progress I've made so far. Oh, well, it is important to journal, but let's not get there as yet. Goal setting. Goal setting, that's where the vision board is coming. I'm going to put it up next. Um, it's best, it's good to have goals in life to know like where you're headed because aiming blindly is not the way to live. Because uko pela pela for the sake of living. And no, it's not, it's not cute. It's not cute because since it's a little overclaw, overclaw, ating, overclaw, achieve a by the end of the year or maybe by six months and you don't have. To have goals from the beginning of the year. Because Nina, last year in my vision board, I did not have starting a hair business. I, d- I didn't even think of that until like maybe April when I did my sister's hair. And someone was like, you want to start a hair business? Like, oh, yeah, I should. And then I literally started, I put it in my vision board. I removed some, I didn't remove, I just shifted things around and like put it there. That's when we get into the vision board. But then before we get into the vision board, some people are spontaneous. Like I used to be such a spontaneous person, maybe back in varsity. I was sort of organized. I was like both organized and spontaneous sometimes. I had like some goals, like your academics, these are my goals. There is so I growing up I realized basically it's nice to have goals to like at the end of the year, you just go, yes, I did this, I did that. Oh, but when I keep on pressing the screen, if only this thing could lock. So let's get into the vision board, point one, vision board. Seeing vision board is that in collage, that collage thing of things you want to achieve or attain by the end of the year for that specific year, like from January, because January now by December, we want to have achieved any team model for instance but we have to remember that a vision board needs to be realistic me i can't just say unati i am manifesting to buy a car number one financially i'm not in the space to buy a car i'm still a student unless my parents buy me a car no problem they can buy a new car i don't mind but i can't put so much pressure on myself unless i win the lot or gaga april or gaga match i'm definitely buying a car Wabo. Seeing your goals act as a catalyst to actually achieving them. Like, okay, 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 for that, that drive. Okay, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. Having a realistic board, as I've mentioned, having a board with attainable goals is the same as having a realistic goal. Goal. With manifestation, Mamelamun, this is important. A vision board must be something you're going to work, work towards. On your vision board, you can guys put realistic things and having a vision board for the circle of I'm a candle manifestation, I'm a manifesto. Oh, it does not work like that, guys. It literally does not work like that. It has to be you have to put in work to get the results. I don't know who said that, but I heard it on some motivational YouTube video. I was like, Yes, I'm motivated, I'm motivated in now, it's in <laughs> it's in and and how to create a vision board. So I use I either use either two apps. Fonto, I'll put the picture and Canva. I'll put the picture. Uh, they are both on um in Google Drive, Google 
apps play store play store and apple king yeah apple app store that's eating yeah they are both on app store and play store you can use them to canva i like it because there's a template for your nanji like but before starting a vision board you have to like know what you want to achieve by the end of the year there's this question i'm going to show you now no i don't have so the you must have a mind because i use my thingy this app king notes app i use notes app to ask myself put everything in a mind not mind the form but writing things down like what i want to, what i want to achieve in relationships spirituality finances academics and my business personal growth and etc and i also put in my vision board thing is i haven't finished my vision board as yet but if i find last year's vision board i'll put it here i put motivational quotes like you can do this without hard work what what what, what. there's a saying my dad my dad like say like always like to work like a to work like a slave is to live like a king that's literally the words he lives by he lives by and i can see king love it for him cha so i use like motivational quotes i got i get them from pinterest motivational quotes and affirmations yeah i am strong i am beautiful i am kind i am you know affirmations to tell myself everything every morning and i put my king my vision board as my wallpaper as because it is the first thing i see when i touch my phone before apps connecting i forgot these things that face thing when you unlock your phone that thing so we're going to move to journaling journaling jotting down experiences and reflecting later on the progress you've done in the year because i have started journaling not this i haven't bought my journal this year because i haven't gone shopping i haven't left the house actually i've got i have to buy a journal last year i've got this journal i put bible scriptures and everything and how i feel like the mood for the day how like how how school guys literally last year was hell for me academically but i'm it's in i'm within i'm still continuing with my studies Jamaica, i'm not sure i'm still deciding if not i'm gonna be a, a a house babe next year focusing this year actually focusing guys my mind is still in 2022 and i struggle to so to adjust maybe in two weeks or something because i still do things 2022 2022 but then 2020, 2023 child my jordan yeah. period um journaling helps you create order when you feel like your world is in chaos it's literally where you feel grounded it literally gravitates you down when you write in your feelings your what's what's your feelings your thoughts your progress your plans your what what it literally brings you down to because i used to do that a lot guys i did modules i hated last year so much but i started journaling crying journaling oh guys am i gonna pass at least a 15 yana and a, and i got way more than 50. Very good really. and now i read i read it like three or four days ago i was like yo that's why i honestly left youtube i not left i took a break from youtube make go literally academically i was literally suffering at school so so guys there's a there's a Woo sound at the back it's the solar inverter thing it's in the other it's grooming ekamun next door front position and two so also i you can get journaling books you don't have to it does not have to be this is my journal from 2014 actually i keep all my journals i got this from kum books yeah it's like this is how i write i write things dates and stuff i got this from chromebooks i honestly do not remember but it's here on the front it says with god all things are possible and mark 10 verses 27 this is literally my 
my my my verse of the month because i have monthly verses it's something i want to share with you guys i'll definitely share it if you guys are interested in that please do tell me in the comments down below and we'll get into it so where are we oh yeah mm -hmm. journaling journaling it doesn't have to be this fancy cute book it can it can be a book from just gonna king Kim book that's called that 72 page it can be that book because what matters in, is the content inside not the book outside you get sorry get it from i'm a china shop king those china that's the those chinese shops you can get it at typo at any station but pna cna they're quite expensive there but pna cna and other stores i personally like les zase zase kum books because they come with scriptures at the let me see i don't know if you can see this comes with scriptures this one is don't be don't be afraid just have faith mark 5 verses 36 I like them very much because it comes as a they it, it plays both a journal and a kind of in that book daily devotion daily daily devotional book. Although so you can so I have your devotions in there because most of the things in here are biblical, like crying and then seeing this and that, like interpreting how I read this and stuff and and googling listening to to. Okay. the specific thing just go, i go on youtube and search let's say mark 10 versus things and guys on top of them so kiss is name they just passed i'm so sorry yeah and in conclusion i want this year to be very intentional intentional in the way i speak to people intentional in the way in the way that it is in my friendships with my family with my love you know my love and the sun <laughs> and i will be intentional with every aspect of my life be it business academics what else youtube i'm trying my best to be back on youtube this year guys it depends on how hectic school gets because i'm still furthering i'm still deciding who <laughs> i'm furthering my studies but with my parents i know very well i'm furthering gap what i feel like the job you could be like that's not gonna have happen in the nana household so yeah aspect of my life because i want my life to reflect my intentions hence the year the theme of the year is living life intentionally guys i will move with love there's this quote I saw, not a quote, but a tweet I saw. It says, be intentional about being grateful. That's how you remain content in when God has you. So I read it again. Let me talk up, take out this mic and read it. Ling my meats. Ling my meats. Good. Be intentional about being grateful. That is how you remain content in when God has you. This is very powerful. I'm going to read it again. Be intentional about being grateful. That is how you remain content in when God has you. So powerful. Guys, this year is a year of yes. Year of intentional. Sorry, let me put this back. Year of intentional act feelings and whatever this is our year guys this is only the beginning so hey guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have any more questions and so if you have any more questions and want to know more about a vision board please do comment down below and i'll make a separate video regarding vision boards thank you so much and i hope you subscribe like this video and share this video